Now some tough questions for police and shocking new video from the barbershop shooting in Cleveland's old Brooklyn neighborhood. You may remember this five people were hurt and it's been more than three months and no one has been arrested. Where have the shooters gone? These these are people that shot not because they got a bad haircut because there's a problem going on. We were there right after it happened and followed up for several days and tonight we wanted to find out what's happened since then. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan is here with a video you will only see on 5. And Tara, have police made any headway in the case? Well, police told me late today, 2nd District Major Crimes is investigating and they do have some good leads. After that shooting, the building owner next door showed me the shocking video his surveillance captured. He wants answers. People who live there do too. And while the barbershop owner tried to move forward, he's now moving out. Video you haven't seen until now. Two gunmen hop from a red car, open the door to iFix Ugly on State Road in the middle of the day and fire repeatedly before taking off, all in just seven seconds. They have the guts to show up, push open the door, and shoot multiple times in a business. And who are they? Where have they gone? Carl Shantz's camera on his building across Saratoga caught it all. Five people were hit, including two employees. Shantz put up surveillance, he says, for a reason. Prior to the shooting, uh, we had residents that had moved out uh, from upstairs in the apartments because of the activity going on in that business. Because of the loud music, motorcycles, uh, the, the people coming and going at all hours. But since the shooting last October, Shantz says it's been quiet. This is now a business that is in transition and it's gone from a uh, party place to very possibly the business that it should be. iFix Ugly owner Tim Gillespie says the October shooting had nothing to do with his shop, rather three walk-ins. Them dudes had something going on and them dudes pulled up and they did what they did. Shantz's video appears to show return fire. Police came and they got up in the DVR. They took what they took. I have no idea. I don't know if anybody returned fire. Okay. I know I didn't return fire. Gillespie says a shooting four months earlier when a bullet hit a barber chair wasn't connected either. We cut here here. It's not a club. We're not partying. Um, so the, the loud and the councilman that came out and I spoke to him about it. I said, look, man, we're not we're not no uh, nuisance. You know, we're cutting here. Yeah, there's a lot of people in and out of here I, and the parking sucks. He's since added more security in order to get in and out of the shop. You got to get buzzed in and out. Gillespie opened up his shop here at State in Saratoga four years ago. He's now relocating to Middleburg Heights. The shooting is a factor. Kind of got a backlash on the, the business from from what happened in here. It's an unfortunate event. Um, you can't control people, you know what I'm saying? People are going to be do what people do. You know, the barbershop ain't the only shooting that happened in a public place. Gillespie says he's heard nothing from police since day one. Shantz wants police to follow up, not only on the October shooting, but whether the gunman and getaway driver have done anything else since. Frustrating and just uh, sets up a, a level of curiosity of why, why you have a community like this, a business like that, an event of five people being shot, and nothing else has happened out of it. Gillespie says some of his clients haven't returned for reasons that include the shooting. Again, no arrests in this case, and police say at this time no charges filed against anyone in the shop at the time of the shooting. Call Crime Stoppers if you can help police. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.